Good morning, folks. We're going to hit the Arctic wave encroaching the states this week, see a key galactic physics paper make it into a top journal, and discuss upcoming events. But let's start with our star. Solar flaring remains low, the coronal hole streams are on their way to Earth, but the big story may lie in wait as we've got some big sunspots at the bright active regions. You can see minor plasma activity top left and bottom right. These sunspot groups are where we'll have eyes open for flares, CMEs, and proton events. The two spots of greatest interest are the departing group on the south with the extended southern umbra and the train of spots in the massive grouping incoming on the north. The southern departing region is magnetically simpler. Red negative across the entire lead of the group is why it's not flared to a significant degree. It's magnetically stable and we can also see that in the umbral magnetic field setup with wide coverage and spot connections that are not interacting. The larger train of sunspots on the north is the bigger concern. It will be facing Earth this week and has both positive and negative components within it. We'll have to monitor this one for solar flares as it crosses the Earth-facing disk. The solar wind is slightly amplified this morning here at Earth leading to KP4 conditions and a touch of instability in the magnetic field, but is likely to remain minor until the streams from the coronal holes arrive tomorrow night or Wednesday. Meanwhile, something else is about to arrive in North America. Ran the temperature forecast ahead for the middle of the week here and just watch how the cold slides in and then slowly shifts eastward. Get ready folks, winter is about to hit hard, especially in the northern states like Montana and Wisconsin. Expect temperatures well into the negative Fahrenheit range. Top science story today is this one. We saw the preprint about the unexplained turbulence noticed by the Voyager craft and how it cannot be explained by normal interstellar turbulence in the galaxy. It's now on a top journal. This is a key expectation with the impact of the galactic current sheet and would follow right along with the extra neutrals, ions, and dust that have been discovered recently as well. The solar system shift continues. If you missed our second video yesterday, we did something a little different. Nearly 30 minutes of live stream and taking questions. We will try to go live once every week or two weeks going forward. A lot of questions there about the ranch and how to help or get involved. Below the video, you'll find links to the ranch website and the nonprofit contribution form through Little Spark, tax deductible. The couple remaining spots at the ranch are reserved for investors, and you can email us through observerranch.com if you're interested. And in 2023, there will be a chance for anyone to get involved at that level as well. But right now, let's talk about upcoming events. January 7th will be in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Click the link below the video to come to our group event for a talk, some food, and a Q&A with myself and other observers. If you haven't been to a live, in-person observers event, there's just something a little different about being around like-minded people, especially in this way. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun. Check out Observer Ranch or sign up for the Wyoming event to kick off 2023. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.